Thank you, McCoy. Well, today is Election Day, and while there aren't any state or national offices on the ballot in Michigan, local communities still have some big choices to make. Yes, and those include deciding who will lead some mid-Michigan cities. Jackson, Charlotte, and Brighton voters are choosing new mayors and city council members. There are also city council seats up for grabs in Lansing, East Lansing, Eaton Rapids, Potterville, and Howell. There are also plenty of funding initiatives seeking voter approval for bonds and millages to pay for things like our schools emergency services and infrastructure. People have just under two hours now to get in line at their local polling place before they close at 8 p.m. And voters are doing just that in the city of Lansing as they prepare and decide who will make up the members of the next city council. Our Darylynn Horn joins us now live from a polling location in Lansing with more on the turnout today. Darylynn. Yes, we're actually here on Lansing South Side where as you can see voters are still lining up to cast their ballots for they believe should be on Lansing City Council. Now, it's difficult to know what the turnout will be at the polls because officials say that many people submitted their votes through absentee ballots. In the city of Lansing, as of midday, they only saw 1% of in-person turnouts. However, officials say they've issued more than 15,000 absentee ballots, and they currently have 11,000 back in their possession. Shoot over 15,000 ballots and have uh, about 11,000 uh, of them back. Uh, people love the convenience of voting at home. Um, now with the new constitutional provision, you can do one application and be on a list to get a ballot for every election automatically sent. Still here at the polls, you have until 8 p.m. tonight to cast your ballots and have the chance to make your vote count. Drop-offs are still going on for absentee ballots, and if you're not registered to vote, you can go to the clerk's office to do that. But absentee ballots can still be dropped off, but not put in the mail. Here for you in Lansing, Darylynn Horn, 6 News.